Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Donnelly here with yet another pro theme tutorial video. This one has actually been very highly requested. Uh, so I thought I'd at least scratch the surface of the layout builder specifically when it comes to WooCommerce products, but really this can be applied to anything. The layout builder is an incredibly powerful component of pro theme. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, here we are on the back end. This is literally right now, we are just in the page builder. This is probably what most of you are used to being in. We know this is the page builder because it is the content builder. But what we wanna be in for designing layouts, whether this be a blog layout, whether this is a custom post type layout, like our business directory uh, tutorial, which I'll link to below, or whether this is a WooCommerce product, we need to be in the layout builder. Layouts are one template that we are creating that we can then apply to an entire post type or an entire category of post types. Uh, so what that means in this case is products. So let's go ahead and choose our layout builder. Now you'll notice that I already have some in here. Go ahead and ignore those and let's go ahead and create a new one. I'm gonna call this uh, our, let's call this our iPhone layout. We can actually create different layouts for different product categories. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. Now, again, this video is just going to scratch the surface on this. We're not gonna focus a lot on design, but more what this is capable of, and you guys can go ahead and design as needed. And perhaps in some future tutorials, we can actually go into some pretty complex builds here. So what I'm doing is I'm naming this my iPhone layout. I'm gonna use a blank template for now, just we'll start from scratch and I'll show you how we can actually use a pre-made uh, theme code template to get started. And then what type of layout is this? If it is a post or a, you know, in our business directory, if this is a single business layout that we're creating, it's gonna be the single post type. If this is the archive, which would be like your blog index page that shows all of the blogs, or maybe your shop page, which shows all of the products, that's gonna be your archive. Now, when we're specifically referring to WooCommerce, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we're using WC Single and WC Archive. Now, again, these will only show up, obviously, if you have WooCommerce installed on your website. So we're gonna go ahead, because we're creating our single product layout, not the shop page, but a single product layout, we're gonna choose WC Single, and we're gonna create that layout. Now, when we start, uh, this could be super intimidating because you don't even know what content can be dragged out. So what I like to do is sort of work my way backwards and reverse engineer things that ThemeCo has put together because honestly, what they put together uh, is super powerful. And even if it's not the design you're going for, you can deconstruct it and kind of learn from it. So for the sake of saving time in this tutorial, I'm gonna use one of their templates. Now they have product one, product two, cart, checkout, et cetera. We're just gonna go ahead and choose product two. And you'll notice it is already pulling through content from my product pages. Uh, now this is all content that is entered into the back end of these pages, but you'll see it's already pulling it through. And you'll notice a lot of these elements that are out here are actually elements that are under this WooCommerce uh, category here. So you'll see like product image, long description, additional information, cross sells. This is your shop notices. So if you have notices that are passed through to the page, those will show up here. Um, so this is the basic structure of the page. Now you can really do whatever you want with this, right? So you don't have to stick to this layout at all. Just like building a page where you get to design from the ground up, you can do the same thing here. Again, I'm just using what they have here as a starting point. They've even gone so far as to include some conditional logic where if there's a flash sale, you can actually see some of that conditional logic here where it says if product is in stock and product is on sale and product is not on back order, then show this little sale tag here. Pretty incredible stuff that you are able to do here. This is pulling through the current price. You can see that in your dynamic details here. So pull through the currency symbol, pull through the product price. We have our cart. This has a dynamic link in it so that this is always pulling through no matter what product page it is. You don't have to worry about updating a cart button because this will always pull through that product's add to cart ID. Then we get down here and we have our description, our details, our reviews, and let's go ahead, because I don't have any reviews to show, let's go ahead and actually just call this our uh, related products. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and delete this product reviews. And this is just giving you an example of some of the things you can do. We will go into WooCommerce. 
we will find our related products. We'll drag and drop that down here. And again, if we don't even like this layout, if there was something else we wanted to do here, like, you know, maybe, uh, maybe we wanna go here two columns and then related products at the bottom or a completely custom design, we can do that. Um, again, same as building a page, you just build and then make sure your dynamic content is in the right places. So now, because this is our iPhone page, I only want this to apply to iPhone categories. For the sake of the build, I'm just gonna preview. I can choose anything I wanna preview. So let's preview the iPhone 12 that we have in here. And there's our related products, other other iPhones. I wanna show four in here. I don't think I even have that many, but now it gets a little smaller. Um, and so now it's showing four related products. And I'm gonna go ahead and save. Problem is, when I jump over here and I look at my iPhone 12, this is the out of the box product page. Well, I'm building this amazing thing. How do I get this to show? Well, we haven't assigned this. So what we're gonna do is actually come over here to our settings. And these are the page settings, or in this case, the layout settings. And we are going to look under assignment conditions, and we are gonna edit our conditions. So let's go ahead and click on that and add a new condition. Now, we could have this apply to all the products in our store if you just wanted one layout across the board. That's it right there, all products, and we are done. Uh, if I was building this specifically for iPhones because I wanted those to look one way and computers to look another, I can actually come in here and go to product categories is and then say this is a computer layout or this is a phone layout. So we'll go ahead and say this is a phone layout. I need to possibly, if I have multiple layouts that could apply to different things, make sure that my priority is set. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this at zero and then we'll go ahead and save. Now, when I come over here and I look at my MacBook Pro product page, it's still the old page, right? Because we didn't apply it to computers. But if I grab my iPhone 12 page and look at that, there is our new layout, fully functional, pulling through the details that we asked it to pull through. Obviously, I don't have everything entered in for this demo, and then pulling through related products. Now this related products area is pulling in predetermined styles based on the stack that you are using. This currently isn't customizable. Um, I do foresee this stuff being customizable in the future when ThemeCo releases the theme options builder, um, which will be super powerful. Um, so obviously you probably wouldn't wanna stack related products on related products. This is being pulled through with the element itself. But regardless of those little nuances, this is a super powerful way to build product pages or layout Layouts in general, definitely mess around with the layout builder because it will take your websites to the next level. As always, hopefully you guys find these videos useful. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.